instead of looking for the organizers of the protest, accusing people up and down, looking for people to arrest, why don't you think about strategies that you can overcome? One, Inspector General of Police, Chief of Defense Staff, Chief of Army Staff, Chief of Naval Staff, and all the security personnel, all the security agencies in Nigeria. It is a call for you all and also your responsibility to protect lives and properties. Now, there is a serious issue at hand which has become a national attention, right? Both internationally, if I can say, because I saw the news all over, even on CNN, that there is a proposed uh, protest, and this protest is titled End Bad Government. You all know that protest is the right of the people. This is the only way the masses can communicate to the government on their anger, that they are not happy about what is happening. It is very obvious that Nigerians are suffering very, very well. So, instead of looking for who started it, eh, OB is this one, OB is that, this one is that, arresting people, the more you arrest people, the more tension you cause. So, as professional, we know the Nigerian army, I always make video about the chief of defense staff, yes. I'm very impressed with your uh, tactics all the time, and also Inspector General. I've made several videos about you guys, uh, thanking, thanking you for how, um, how you implement your strategies. So I also expect this implementation to come now. What do, are you planning in securing lives and properties? The fear is that it is a peaceful protest, but the fear is the bad people might take advantage to hijack the process, right? That is why I personally debunked. And my videos are going round up and down that I debunked and all that. Yes, I did, but I did not stop talking as an activist. I personally say these are my reasons that I may not come out or I will not come out on that day. But for those who still want to go out, please, I am calling on all the people I mentioned, the security agencies in Nigeria, to ensure that their lives are safe. We have the drone. I'm sure the uh, Nigeria as a government have drones that can see up and down everything from the top. If you have people coming, a group of people coming to attack these people, we should have drones all over to monitor the activities. We should, we should not shoot on the protesters. If you watch in Kenya, in Uganda, they are not firing at the people. They are only shooting tear gas when the pressure becomes much. Since you know that it is the right of the people, I expect, yes, being professional, being the African giant, as should be things of emulation so that other countries can emulate. Yes, since we already know that maybe they can hijack it, what are you thinking of doing to make sure the hijackers do not succeed? Already, they are already catching some people, yes bad people, some that are crossing with uh, ammunition and whatever, you know. So if that is happening, we give kudos to the uh, officers. So please, for the protesters also, when you notice a strange person, I mean, strange person amongst you, what do you do? Raise alarm immediately. Somebody's going to boggle somebody's shop. Yes, hold the person. Somebody's breaking somebody's cast. These are not what you are going out for. You are going out for the people. Who are the people? Tinubu is not the problem. One individual is not the problem of Nigeria. Even ourselves, we are problems. Now, by the time this whole thing is, is uh, uh, subsided, we have to also think about our individual selves because we have been very wicked to ourselves. We buy things cheap. Let's say cheap to some extent. Somebody buys something for 100 naira, sell it for 200 naira or 300 naira and say there is, the fuel is too much and you want to gain the whole thing from one product. So you see that we also have problems. So now I say Tinubu is not a problem, him as a president. Yes, the whole blame is to him because he's the head of the family. But we should count more on our lawmakers, senators, legislators, the court, uh, what's it called, our lawyers, judiciary. All these people are problem of Nigeria. So let's not overlook. See, apart from these people, we also have uh, commissioners, we have ministers. If these people are not working, look, don't let them escape assistance because many of them will look for a way to fly out. And we're also calling on the Port Authority, uh, uh, what's it called, uh, FAN, 
uh, all of you, you put eyes on these people because there is no need for them running out there. We are suspecting anything can happen. If anything can happen, you guys are the ones that trigger this thing. So why are you running out? Stay and face the heat that the people are bringing. So please, if you are going out for the protest, make it peaceful. Make it peaceful. That's what we are praying for because you are not going to die. So don't bring anything that will aggravate that anger. Thank you.